Hello everybody and welcome back to a uh, video in relation to the very latest patch on Microsoft Flight Simulator um, which was released yesterday, Thursday the 29th of October 2020. Uh, Asobo have uh, broke the way that the community folder is read and the liveries work frustratingly so now the last livery you use is the only one that you can use for some reason. Uh, and I'm going to show you very briefly on this video how to fix it. So as you can see, we've um, I use the British Airways livery all the time from FlightSim.to, um, but it's also in the Mega Pack as well, the livery Mega Pack. And uh, I've just gone into the hangar and I've changed it to the Airbus A320 Neo EasyJet. But you know, look what's happened; it's stayed the same. So let's change it to another one that I know works, uh, well they all work but let's just pick another one um, Aegean, it's a good looking one nope nothing, Air Europa no, nope, all broke so what you need to do is you need to find what livery you're going to want to use um, so I'm gonna use, for my next flight I'm gonna use uh, EasyJet for the sake of it. Um, I was going to use British Airways but because uh, I've already got that it makes the whole video irrelevant because I, you can't actually see the physical change with what we're doing. So there we go, we've selected uh, EasyJet. So we now go back. We need to go to Options and we need to go to General and we need to turn Developer Mode on. Once we've turned developer mode on, we get the uh, development tools drop downs and bits at the top here, as you can see. And you want to go to tools, project editor. You want to go to project drop down here and click new project. And then uh, create new project. What you should then be able to do is go back up to the very top on this Tools tab and it says Aircraft Editor on the menu drop down. Click onto that and it create, it changes the project view here on Aircraft Editor for the Development Tools bit. So what you want to do is you want to go to um, File and there's now an option for Resync. Uh, and once you Resync and click it, you'll see in the background it's now suddenly let's, uh, we can close all this now don't even need to save the project, that's, that's the old thing and I can turn developer mode off and even if I click go back discard all of the changes I can go into the hangar my hangar and there she is every single time you change livery now until a Sobo fix it or until someone finds a way to to fix it um, this is what we need to do. So, I hope you found it useful. Anybody, uh, um, anyway, uh, make sure you hit like, and uh, make sure more importantly you subscribe to my channel and uh, watch all some of my videos as well. Um, if it's your first time on Vatsim, for example, um, and you're new to my channel, be sure to check out the Vatsim tutorials on how to uh, file flight plans um, and things like that. I hope you find all of those useful as well. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys soon for another video.